Today's Gospel in the Catholic Church is from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 3, verses 20 to 35. In this passage, Jesus faces opposition from both his family and the scribes. His family thinks he is out of his mind, and the scribes accuse him of being possessed by Beelzebul. Jesus responds with parables about the impossibility of Satan driving out Satan and emphasizes the importance of doing God's will, stating that whoever does God's will is his true family. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, welcome to Daily Bread. I know about a couple, John and Linda, a modern couple living in a bustling city. John grew up in a family of doctors, and it was expected that he would follow in their footsteps. However, John felt a different calling. He was passionate about social work and wanted to dedicate his life to helping the homeless. His family, particularly his father, thought he was out of his mind, arguing that he was throwing away a prestigious career. Linda, on the other hand, came from a family that valued wealth and status. Her decision to volunteer in underprivileged communities was met with scorn and disbelief by her own relatives, who could not understand why she would choose to work with the marginalized rather than pursue a high-paying job in the corporate world or in academia. John and Linda met while volunteering at a local shelter, and their shared commitment to helping others drew them closer. Despite the opposition from their families, they continued their work, driven by their faith and the conviction that they were doing God's will. Over time, their dedication began to bear fruit. They established a community center that provided food, shelter, and support to those in need. The transformation they witnessed in the lives of the people they helped reinforced their belief in their mission. Gradually, even their families began to see the impact of their work and started to understand and respect their commitment. John and Linda's story mirrors the Gospel's message of today. They faced a misunderstanding and opposition from those closest to them, just as Jesus did. Yet they remained steadfast in their mission, prioritizing their commitment to doing God's will over familial expectations and societal norms. Their journey reminds us that true discipleship often requires difficult choices and the courage to follow God's call, even when it leads us away from the path that others have laid out for us. The first part of the passage highlights the reaction of Jesus' own family. They set out to seize him, believing that he is out of his mind. This reaction is telling. Even those closest to Jesus struggle to understand his mission and message. This misunderstanding can be a source of deep reflection for us. How often do we fail to understand the radical nature of Jesus' call in our own lives? Are there times when we, like Jesus' family, resist the transformative power of his message because it disrupts our comfort or preconceived notions? The scribes from Jerusalem accuse Jesus of being possessed by Beelzebul and claim that he casts out demons by the prince of demons. This accusation is not just a misunderstanding, but a deliberate misrepresentation of Jesus' mission. Jesus responds with a powerful logical rebuttal, stating that a kingdom divided against itself cannot stand. He then teaches the, that blasphemy against the Holy Spirit is an unforgivable sin. The statement emphasizes the gravity of attributing the work of the Holy Spirit to evil. It serves as a stark warning against the hardness of heart that refuses to see God's work in the world today. The climax of this passage comes when Jesus' mother and brothers arrive and standing outside sent for him. When told that his family is seeking him, Jesus responds, Who are my mother and my brothers? Looking around at those seated in the circle, he says, Here are my mother and my brothers. Whoever does the will of God is my brother and sister and mother. This radical redefinition of family is central to Jesus' teaching. It shifts the focus from biological ties to spiritual kinship rooted in obedience to God's will. This teaching challenges us to rethink our own understanding of family and community in the light of the gospel. 
rather than sticking on to conventional wisdom. Jesus invites us into a new family, one not defined by blood or societal structures, but by a shared commitment to doing God's will. This call to discipleship demands a radical reorientation of our own lives. It asks us to prioritize our relationship with God above all else and to see our fellow disciples as true brothers and sisters. To be part of Jesus' family, we must actively seek to do God's will in our daily lives. This involves listening to God's word, allowing it to transform us and acting in ways that reflect God's love and justice. It also means being open to the promptings of the Holy Spirit and being willing to step out in faith even when it is difficult or counter-cultural. We are also called to create communities that embody this new understanding of family. Our churches and faith communities should be places where everyone is welcomed, valued and supported in their journey of faith. They should reflect the inclusive love of Jesus who embraces all who seek to do the will of God. Today's Gospel challenges us to reflect deeply on our own discipleship and our relationship with Jesus. Are we willing to be part of His true family by doing God's will? Are we ready to embrace the radical redefinition of family that Jesus offers? As we go forth, let us commit ourselves anew to living out this calling, knowing that in doing so we become true brothers and sisters of Christ, united in the bond of God's love. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, grant us the grace to hear your word and to respond with open hearts. Please help us to embrace your will in our lives, even when it challenges our comfort and expectations. May we find our true family among those who seek to do your will, and may our actions reflect your love and justice to all we meet. Guide us in creating communities that embody your inclusive love, welcoming and valuing every person. Strengthen our faith that we, may we might step out with courage, following the example of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen.